It's 2021 and we are still feeling the effects, though fading, of the COVID-19 pandemic. And a lot of our business and school still remains online. And if you're looking to upgrade your webcam so you have a better online presence, I may have an affordable option for you. What's up everybody? Welcome to the Phage Reviews YouTube channel. My name is Jordan and if you are new here, thank you for joining me. And if you're a subscriber, welcome back. Today on the table, I have the, let me see it, Wen Kia, and this is the PCLM3. This is an affordable webcam that you can grab on Amazon right now to upgrade the video quality of your live streaming, your video conferences, your uh, Zoom calls, what have you. This is a 1080p webcam and uh, we're going to compare this to the inbuilt camera on my laptop which is two years old and to the video quality of this uh, DSLR camera that I'm shooting on right now. Um, this is obviously not going to be cinema quality picture but if it can at least upgrade your home laptop or add a camera for your desktop if you don't have one uh, then that's a win for me so in this video we're gonna unbox it I'm gonna show you everything that comes inside set it up give you a demo and tell you what I think now if you're not already I'd love for you to become a subscriber go ahead and hit the subscribe button the notification bell leave a comment if I don't have your subscription right now hopefully I can earn it by the end but enough chat let's take a look at this one Kia 1080p webcam all right so first things first we'll start off with the packaging there's not a lot to see here plain cardboard box picture of the uh, webcam there on the front there are a couple QR codes on the back that take you to their website and contact forms so if you want to see what other products they sell or you have an issue you can reach out to them through there other than that pretty plain so it's a small box compact webcam if you're using this on a thin monitor or a laptop you know it's nice to know that it's not too bulky uh, pulling it out of the box it's right here we're gonna take a look at that in a second um, the only other thing that is in here it's pretty much empty is going to be the user manual now the user manual uh, is a good size this isn't just like a single sheet I'm guessing they offer it in a few different languages of course um, connecting the webcam actually only takes up like two and a half pages um, a few different specs on here just to read those off to you this has a one and two ninths inch CMOS image sensor. It's capable of 1080p at 30 frames per second, uh, 720, 480, and 240. I don't know why you use less than 1080, but you do you. Um, two megapixels effective, uh, focus distance between 0.3 and five meters, times that by three approximately to get feet. Uh, the viewing angle is 85 degrees. And um, let's see, it's powered just by the USB input itself. So you don't need any uh, additional power for it. The cable is 5.9 feet, basically six feet long. And uh, this little guy comes in at 3.19 inches by one inch by one inch. So not too big at all. So enough with that, let me pull this out of the plastic here. There is an up close at the camera. We're gonna take off the film there. I love the look of a brand new surface once you take that film off. And then you've got the cable right here. It is non-replaceable as far as I can tell for the price and for not like a device this size, that's understandable. This is the clamp right here. You just twist that around and then you can fold that out like that to set it onto your screen, okay? Uh, I believe it just rests on top um, from what I can tell here, is this a sticker? Yeah, okay, so there is also an adhesive backing on one side if you prefer to uh, stick it on, but I believe you can just rest it on like that. We'll experiment with that in just a moment. Here's the cable, like I said, six feet long, uh, plenty of distance. I guess if you're using this with a desktop tower and it's like under your desk or something, you should have no problem running this up to the top of your desk. So I've got my laptop right here. Uh, as far as setup, I believe this is plug and play. A lot of these devices uh, should be pretty simple. Yeah, connect the webcam to your computer's USB port. The camera will then appear in the devices and printer section of the control panel. Open video chat or recording software and begin a video call. When the camera is active, the blue LED will be on. And that's literally all the instructions there are for this. That's super nice. Um, I, it's a lot of the microphones I look at and stuff, they are plug and play like that. And uh, in today's world, that's what we need. Okay, so I've got my laptop open. Um, I'm just gonna take this, let me hold the laptop up there for you. So I'm gonna take this and uh, just set it like that, okay? And uh, I think you have to pinch this together. Let's see, like that. Oh yeah, perfect, okay. So I just kind of pinched that bracket together, okay? And uh, it's holding it on the screen real nice, like that. Um, I mean, you're not gonna be pulling on this, but 
that's not really pulling it off. It's staying on there pretty stably. Um, and that took all of about three seconds to uh, set up. So setting the laptop down, I'm gonna plug the camera in to the USB port. Okay, I'm gonna tilt this up like that. Beautiful, the computer says it's setting up the device. You don't have to go download any drivers, I think the computer should automatically install them. Now I'm running a PC, if you're using a Mac, I don't know how they work, maybe they're different. But usually when I use devices like this, you plug them in and they uh, get going right away. Okay, so it looks like um, I'm not seeing anything. Uh, oh, there we go, so d device drivers successfully installed. So I'm just gonna pull up my camera application and I'm gonna switch over the recording from my DSLR to this built-in camera in just a moment. All right, so first things first, this is my laptop's built-in webcam. This is a, I don't know, like a $500 laptop from two years ago. The camera's actually pretty nice. I'm pretty impressed with the quality. So this may not be one that I want to upgrade, but I'm not the typical maybe user for this product. Someone that has a really old computer or doesn't have a webcam at all uh, is going to want it. But I just want to compare it to a built-in webcam. Once we get this fired up, we can see how it compares to this video. Let's do that right now. All right, and this is the 1080p webcam from Wenkia. You're going to notice a few things right off the bat. First of all, the field of view is much wider. If you want to fit multiple people in a shot, I think this would be great for FaceTiming my family with multiple uh, family members or doing a Zoom call uh, where you have a group setting. This is going to work perfect for that. The uh, quality of the image as far as the sharpness, the megapixels, things like that, I think this looks just as good as the built-in web camera, 1080p. I think that's what the built-in one is, so it's pretty similar in that aspect. Now, the colors do look a little bit washed out. I'm definitely a little more washed out. Now, to be fair, this is picking up a lot of ambient light in the room. This room is actually brighter. It's pretty close to this, um, but I use the exposure settings on my DSLR when I film for the channel to bring the brightness down. So this is a little more true to light with the colors being uh, pretty washed out. So. Um, I'm in a darker room, and I'm guessing if you were in a fully lit room, the camera would perform a touch better. My studio is not really set up for that. It's also nighttime outside, so it's not really going to make a difference. Um, but just so you know, um, maybe you're sacrificing a little bit in washed out colors to get a wide view angle and a lot of light pickup. So you can kind of decide if that's important for you or not. Um, on the whole though, I'm satisfied by this. If I had no webcam, this would be more than enough. Um, and if my laptop was a little older and only shot in, uh, what is it, 720 or 240 or whatever those low image qualities are, if your laptop's five, 10 years old, this would be an upgrade for sure. So hopefully that's helpful. This again is the Wenkia 1080p webcam. All right, so that is a look at the Wenkia, Wenkaya 1080p webcam. This is a super compact, uh, little affordable webcam you can pick up to add video capabilities to your desktop if you don't have a camera or to upgrade maybe an older laptop's built-in webcam. Um, if you want to grab one of these for yourself, I will include a link down below in the description. You can go buy through there and support the channel. I would, of course, love you for it. And if you felt like you enjoyed this content and want to see more tech reviews, lighting, uh, microphones, DJ gear, any sort of desk or home office product, I try and review it all. If something catches my eye, I'm going to share it on here. Um, you can leave a comment, hit the notification bell. You know how it goes. Thank you again so much for watching, and I will see you next time.